Hello everyone, I am Teacher Jen and I am here to discuss the changes in the motion of objects. Let's start with the definition of motion. So what is motion? Do you have any idea of what a motion is? Motion is a phenomenon in which an object changes its position over time. So, once na magbago ka ng iyong pwesto, it is already considered as a motion. Motion is mathematically described in terms of displacement, distance, velocity, acceleration, speed, and time. In short, motion is a change in position. Another term that you have to remember is the word force. Because force is the reason why there are changes in the motion of objects. Can you recall what a force is based on what you have learned in your grade 7 science? You're right! Force is simply a push or pull. So if you push an object or if you pull an object, you are already exerting force on it. And that force can make an object change in motion. How about Sir Isaac Newton? Do you know who he is? Sir Isaac Newton was an English mathematician, physicist, astronomer, theologian, and author who is widely recognized as one of the most influential scientists of all time and as a key figure in the scientific revolution. Siya lang naman ang gumawa ng three laws of motion. Yes, you heard me right. He is the one who formulated the three laws of motion, and these are the following. First law, the law of inertia. Second law, the law of acceleration. And the third law, the law of action-reaction, which is also known as the law of interaction. Do you want to know more about the laws of motion? Okay, let's discuss them one by one. The first law of motion is also known as law of inertia. It states that object at rest will remain at rest and object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an external net force or unbalanced force. Do you know what it means? When we say inertia, it is a tendency of an object to do nothing or to remain unchanged or to keep doing what they are doing or a property of an object to resist any change in its state of motion. Look at this washing machine. Is it at rest or in motion? At rest. Very good. This washing machine is at rest. It is not moving. And this washing machine has inertia. What's inertia again? Inertia is a tendency to do nothing or to remain unchanged. Which means this washing machine will remain in this way forever. It will not move and it will not change its position unless an external net force or the what we call an balance force will act upon it. Like when someone push it or pull it. This pair of slippers have inertia. Just like the washing machine, they will not move or change their position unless acted upon by an external net force. See? Objects at rest have inertia. They are lazy. Hindi sila gagalaw unless mag apply ka ng force sa kanila. Objects in motion have inertia too. Patuloy nilang gagawin kung anong ginagawa nila at hindi sila magbabago unless merong external net force na mag a sa kanila. Let's say for example, you throw a pebble in the outer space. That pebble will continue to move in a straight line direction at hindi siya magbabago unless there is an external net force na mag a din sa kanya. Let's compare the inertia of the washing machine and the pair of slippers. Which of them has more inertia? It's hard for you to push the washing machine than the slippers. Simply because the washing machine has more inertia than the slippers. More mass means more inertia. 
Kaya naman yung mabibigat na bagay, mas mahirap silang pagalawin, pabagalin, pabilisin, or baguhin ang direksyon.